Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac. Isaac it is. There's the lost, four more rooms on the floor. If I can find the item room early, that's great, because that could mean that I get two rerolls instead of just one. But I never do, so it probably won't matter. There are two extra rerolls instead of just one, which I might not even get one. So, hey, actually, maybe, maybe that'll happen. That could happen. Then again, of course, it's possible that I don't want to reroll the item, and then, well, I'm not getting that extra reroll after all. Yeah, honestly, I want Mr. Mega. It's good. Five more bombs, increased blast radius and damage on our bombs. It's good. Like, good, good. So, we'll see if we find the boss anytime soon. There's obviously no devil room on this floor unless I get teleported to it. As in, I can't possibly earn it, is what I'm saying. Bomb that, kill the enemy instantly. Key, skip the soul heart for now in case there's a curse room. Have the keys. Alright. Larry Jr., you're a jerk and I hate you sometimes. You would go there. Whatever, you're dead. Hope that made you feel pretty bad about yourself. So I still don't have a special item, that's why I picked up Mr. Mega right away. It's not special, so it won't affect that. This is a good thing. Oh my god, Larry Jr. You beast! And you cheater. You're going over the rocks, man. Tears up? Yeah, I want that. This game is just like, hey, you have that D6, don't use it. I don't want you to use it. I'm okay with that, fine. That is uh, totally acceptable. So that's 0.7 tears up. Not special. Nothing else. It is cool. Nothing I care about there, nothing I care about there. Secret room so far seems to be next to the item room, and still seems that way after having seen the rest of the floor. Another key. Alright, that is excellent. So let's go ahead and check out the secret room. Top secret room I'm not really sold on. There's not a definitively good location. Secret room was there though, as it turns out, and I can reroll that. And I can skip that because it's a boring item that makes the game not fun to play for me. I'm not interested in that. Top secret room, it could honestly be anywhere, so I don't really want to check. Get our soul hearts and go. Strong start. Sucks about the wasted secret room reroll, but at least we won't see it again. No, don't do that. Okay, Epic Fetus is, of course, the most free win in the game, and pretty much the only free win. But that's cool. If I skip it. I'd love to go to the curse room, but I don't want to sacrifice my one of my only soul hearts. So I don't get an extra reroll here. Mom's Knife, we've seen that. Can't reroll it right now. Gotta, gotta fight the boss and get the devil room, see what's up in there. Oh, it hit. Okay. All that matters. Gertie Jr., can you calm down? Ah, I, I would have lost that game of chicken. Tears up, two soul hearts. I'm down. Tears up by 0.4. Packed. And. Mm, yep. Just this once, I'll do it. I'm not taking the knife, though. So the pact is uh, 0 0.5 damage up, 0 0.7 tears up, and 2 soul hearts. We have exactly enough money to go to the shop, except that we'll get a little more. Spirit of the Night is Flight and Spectral Tears. So Flight lets us go into the curse room without taking damage. Doesn't let us leave without taking damage, though. You get out of the way. Go ahead and do that. Pretty fly. Nice. 
Bombs are key, also nice. Uh, Pre-fly gives us an orbital that will block tears and kill flies. Certain flies, not all flies. And that's uh, that. Bombs and key. Bombs are key, switches are bomb and key counts. Good. Uh, okay, alright, guess I get to reroll a thing. That gives me a full charge for my spacebar item on pickup. And makes it so that I always have two ticks of charge left over for my spacebar item after using it. That turns the D6 into a two room charge, which is absolutely absurd. So let's see what we reroll our knife into. Toothpicks, special, and it does nothing but give you 0.16 shot speed up, so that's bad. I still have no special items, so we can still shop around and be picky with those. And I intend to. I also intend to shoot every poop and fire. No skimping, just because I have flight and spectral tears. So why take flight for health? I never do that. You're, you've already pointed it out, I'm sure. I just felt that why not mix it up? Except the fact that it is, like, stupidly good. Alright, okay, I don't have anything else. Counterfeit penny every time I pick up a coin, 50% chance it's worth one more cent than usual. Not double value, just one more cent. That's good to have. I don't really have to fear peep on this uh, layout. I would, however, appreciate if peep would move up, which, there we go. So if I just keep shooting at the bottom of peep, it should be okay. Peep shouldn't move down too much. At least not as much as if I shoot at the top. See, this is going beautifully. This is one reason that Spectral Tears are really good. Okay, so that's a really good item. It's special, so I'm gonna wait. But that's uh, 0.5 damage up and a bit of range up. So it's not like really good, but it, it's it's good. It's worth taking. So 0.5 damage up. I like that. This mini boss drops uh, Mr. Mega, so I definitely wasn't getting an item drop for it, but I got bombs and a key, so it's good. Now onward to go find the item room, see if we can get a magic mushroom or something. Oh, and a library. That's uh, also a thing we could look for. Alright, two soul hearts from that. Good card. Pick this up, re-roll it. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm not re-rolling it, so that's fine. If I were re-rolling that item, I wouldn't use that because it would make the re-roll a cube of meat. Since the boss room will change to a uh, the room that a horseman would have. Don't need that, but I will buy the bomb and the key. Uh, so there's a chance the reason I do that is both because it gives me a soul heart, but also because there's a chance that I get a uh, tinted rock that wasn't previously there. So sadly, I can't get another reroll because there aren't enough rooms. I'll take a speed up. I need one more room than just that uh, challenge room to get another reroll, so that's unfortunate. So my first special item will be. Jesus Juice and Jesus Juice alone. And that's okay. It is a good and worthwhile item. This is this run is going well so far. I don't have a charge for my D6, but once I do, I will go to that uh, curse room. I'll have it after the next room. And that is good. Okay, you exist. Nope. Nope. I will also visit this shop after I've used my reroll. Or after I've visited the curse room, I guess. Rather than just use my reroll. Because uh, there's a chance it's greed, 
And I'd rather not waste the reroll if it exists. Three kamikaze flies, they do twice my damage. Two soul hearts, that means I gained a soul heart and a half from that. That's good. Now I can visit this, reroll that, and take the treasure map, buy the key. Treasure map will show me the full layout of the floor, just not what the rooms are. It includes the secret room, but not the top secret room. Alright, so this is good. We can visit our item room, see if it's beautiful. It's not that beautiful, I'll reroll it. So I'll head towards those two rooms down from the spawn. See if they're anything interesting. Six cents. Okay. I can make some form of use of that, but I, I did get a bit more. I got nine cents out of it, I believe that was, thanks to the counterfeit penny. Completely forgot I had it. Just to be honest with you. Because it's just not something that I'm really using. Not something that, like, you can see it doing its thing. If you're not paying closest, close-ish attention. That's a health up. I need to do one more room. Yeah, let's do the health up room. Before fighting the boss, because the boss needs to get me my charge for my D6, so that I can reroll if I get a devil room, for example. That's important. Monster is dead. Larry Jr. will die pretty quickly, I imagine. If I can kill the head, that'll kill the entire boss rather than uh, killing, because it's three segments, even though one of them's overlapping with another. All right, Spectral Tears makes this boss a joke in this circumstance. It's wonderful. I appreciate that a lot. It means I can just shoot at it as if it uh, doesn't matter. Range up. I'll take a range up. That just lets me get away with more stuff as I cheese with flight. Okay, so I'm going to go reroll the item room and then I'm going to keep exploring the floor. There's a good chance of there being another library since... We touched books. Well, we touched a book. Only one book matters. That's any book, not just like... Yeah, you, you know what I'm saying. So, I would love to get another library, start rerolling those again. Except that I'm not going to get to. Because I might, if I'm lucky, get one more reroll on this whole floor. after this one. And that means I won't get to see the library until I get that. Well, okay. If those rooms are fighting, we have we have another reroll guaranteed. But I'm not going to count on it. Charm of the Vampire is bad. Ruins half-heart intervals for Polaroid invincibility or of Babylon what have you. So that's not worth taking. Okay, so it looks like we'll get another reroll. And I'm gonna assume that that end room on the other side is something special and just visit it. Cool, I would love to pick up the virus from this. Weird thing to say. But I didn't, so it doesn't even matter. So since I'm assuming that that room is something I'm going to fight this room. And I'm going to be wrong. Unless it's a sacrifice room, in which case. Yeah, okay. It doesn't matter. But this could have been me throwing away another reroll. Interestingly enough. Actually threw away another reroll. The odds of that. I'm actually really surprised that this was a fighting room and not a sacrifice room. Or just anything... I don't need more money. Bloody Penny, I don't need either. I would rather get more money. Well, let's go reroll for the last time. I could have rerolled twice more, though. That's twice more instead of once more. That's weird. 
That's really nuts. Nuts. <clears throat> but maybe we'll get something good this time. Yeah, we do. That's one damage up. Always turns your tears red, so... Range up, okay. It's not bad. Uh, and it also makes Book of Belial and the Devil card. Beyond just adding 2 to your damage, they also give you a 1.5 damage multiplier. Which is awesome. Come on, I missed. Skirted the top so... So finely. Okay, not an XL floor for once. It's a good feeling. Alright, shop is greed. Had no way of knowing if I didn't do the whole floor beforehand, so... Decided to take the chance. But that's something I can reroll, and that's something I can take. Two trinket slots. Awesome. Back off. I had confidence that that was going to have a room in it. Man. I don't have enough keys, so I'm not going to do that. Dang, man. He was trying to get me to use all my keys. Believe me, I want to. Fine, you get one. Alright, you get the other one then. Cool. What the money? What the money is this? Alright, so we found the boss before we found the item room. That's legitimately surprising. So I guess that probably says something about the top secret room location. Bill? Uh, okay, so we're gonna get Gish. Little Gish, that is. Which is the best familiar in the game, in my opinion. She's slowing tears. Very effective. Does have low damage, but I can't say I'm bothered because of the slowing. Really strong status effect. Yep. Let's see if we get the double room here. We should. Wow, he's spawned an eye blob. That's so weird. Ah, okay, so I'm not even going to bother rerolling them because I don't have enough health to take them. And I don't want these anyway, so... It's not worth the reroll just because I don't have the health. Let's go find our item room. Found it. Two of hearts doubles my build health, not... doesn't give me health ups or anything. Fighter butt, no thanks. Mini Mush was, like, maybe worth it, but not really. Because I'm fast enough, and I have enough range. Like, I have pretty good range. Wait, what just hit me? That's amazing. And taking the left hand is no big deal. I can easily ditch it. Because I have another trinket already. So. Don't have to worry about that. And... Nope. <laughs> okay, we'll get to it. There's six rooms left beyond the uh, challenge room, so I might not need to use the challenge room for reroll. If I do, I might not care. Or I'll just find an item fast enough that I don't even need to think about that. And that's, uh, that's what I'm hoping for, I guess. But do I have this kind of range? Oh yeah, I do. Cool. Let's check the secret room. Maybe I want to reroll that. Nope, but it's got a curse room link to it, so I want to go there. Reroll that. Nail. Gives me a soul heart, so I'm fine coming back here to reroll again. Once I have the ability. Skip Guppy's tail, because I really don't have the keys to justify that, and it will screw me over. I'm zero-thirds of the way to Guppy, and I already have flight as well.
Good shot. You almost had me with that one. There we go. That gets us another reroll on that nail. I would love to see the mark. Parasite. Not we need to go deeper. And considering the circumstance of this, if this is a fighting room, then yeah, I'll totally go do the challenge room. Except that I don't have any keys, so it doesn't matter if it is a fighting room or not. But it's not, so I don't get to reroll that. It's cool. We can leave and not feel bad about anything. We all good, man. Alright, let's go to the depths too. Have no use for that. So, figured I'd just burn it. So all chests will be red chests right now. But I don't plan on keeping that, especially not long enough for the uh, hail to have been worthwhile to take. It rarely pays out with anything worth worth that. The reroll possibility was much greater to me. So there you have it. I'll visit it once I have my reroll once again. GG me. Oh my god, stop sucking it charging. I just like stop your charge for no good reason. Alright, secret room, what do you got? And why didn't I check the challenge room? Like, I could have checked it at least. And like, oh hey, you suck. But no, I just walked away as if it sucked. I don't know that. Okay, see? See, that could have been bad. Fortunately, I checked as I got the reroll. So it didn't matter. Everything is okay. I have no keys. Don't want to use my only key for uh, the shop rather than the item room. I'm much more partial to item rooms. Good. Good. Well, great, even. Let's see what's... I'm looking for growth hormones, of course. Compass. Compass is pretty worthwhile. But I feel like right now my motto is going to be go big or go home. I have a number of mottos that I just switch between sometimes. Come on. There you go. That's the boss? I don't have a teleport, so I can't mess with that yet. So then... Do this room. I feel like growth hormones just will not happen on this floor, but it's possible. Do I have a key now? Hmm, could have 99. I'm gonna take 99 keys. Skeleton key is real good. I haven't uh, seen it in a while after seeing it a lot for a while. Decided to take a little trip. I don't blame it. Probably got tired of these places. It's always nice being able to kill them before the spawn is complete, so they just die instead of being taking two phases to die. Uh, once I have a reroll, I'll visit the shop. That'll be like right now because he always kills himself in that room. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's uh, much of a reroll. That's also much of a reroll. We'll buy the soul heart, though. Don't get me wrong. I guess I should buy the bomb, too, since I have so much money. Okay. Let us go here. Using the... Uh, I think. Actually, maybe not. I don't know. I might be able to get my D6 to zero charges right now, just because of the notched axe. But it might only go back down to two, like it normally would. Let's check this. See that I don't care. And go to the library. Necronomicon, that means there's one more book in the pool than usual, because that's that book. 
Then we might get one more reroll if we're lucky. Alright. Good. Good. Actually getting Chubb to eat bombs? Sometimes I'm bad at it. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought would happen. Ah, that's really good. It's like a terrible spacebar item, so... Oh well. I've done everything I can, besides fight the boss, where I don't have a teleport to leave from, so I am just gonna have to leave this floor. Close to the library being empty, close to a shop reroll to something good, close to an item room reroll to something maybe good. Who really knows anymore? Okay. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought. My damage is a little underwhelming for this. But it's still the most convenient way. And not even the safest way, as I often say. It's safer to do a normal fight. You spawned a Psychic Maw, that's rude. Okay, there are at least three enemies right now, except that they're mad at me, so... Of course, it can't spawn any enemies if there are three enemies on screen. So, you can get three really, really passive and completely harmless enemies, then you're set. I accidentally picked it up. No! Well, this sucks. I'm going to take the left hand for now. So I just took a shot speed up because I didn't move up far enough. I was going to re-roll it because I had a re-roll available. Everything was great. And then I ruined it. The shot speed adds knockback, which is bad. It causes enemies to do really bad things, often hitting you because of it. Also make some items that I don't have at the moment worse, but maybe I will have them, so... Yeah. And it makes a bunch of items worse, not just a couple. Parasite. Anything with homing. Lump of coal. Uh, Ipecac. It's just bad. It's overall just really bad. So that is how it is. That's 0.23 shot speed up. The max shot speed up you can get total is 0.41? Maybe it's 0.31. No, it's 0.41 or 0.4. Because Samson starts with 0.31 extra. And any single shot speed up maxes him out. But I believe it's 0.4 or 0.41 or something like that. Samson starts the point three one extra though, which is why I thought of that number. No freaking really I'll reroll that again. Alright, so that's a challenge room and I don't really want to deal with that. I'm only giving it one more reroll. If it still sucks, it still sucks. Right, of course, I knew that. Now I want Guppy's Tail, because the chests will actually help me immensely. See how that works? Thank you for just running around me instead of into me. I appreciate that. I like how he's just like going in slow-mo there, and it's like, oh, it's gonna happen. I just don't know when yet. Now that we have this, we'll get a bunch of chests. At the moment, they're red chests, but I will get another trinket before the chest this time. Oh, I walked right into that because I didn't realize he was slowed soon enough. Oh, I was really hoping for another guppy item just for the, for the silliness. Alright, health up is fine. Okay. 
down is a better length. So this one's more likely, I suppose. I mean, they're both pretty weird, I guess. Okay. This shouldn't be too bad. I still only have one pretty fly pill, which sucks. I would love another one. Let's check the secret room now. Oh, cool. Not cool. Although I do need to pick that up since it's in the item room pool as well. I will reroll it again, given the ability. But I should have the ability. Have fun, dude. That sure went well for you. Okay, it wasn't here. Not surprising. Not unsurprising either, though. Friends till the end. Balls of steel. Change up. Friends till the end. Really hope for that pretty fly. Would have been great. I only did that, by the way, because I was hoping for a guppy item so I could get the reroll on that. So instead, I'm wasting it for half a charge, I guess, technically, since it's a two in charge now. Doesn't bother me much. Okay. Dead and then chub, okay. Sure, have one. Delicious, I hear. That sucks. Okay, this is downright silly. How many chests I'm getting? But that's Guppy's tail for you. Increases chest drops by a lot. And decreases other drops by a lot. Nope. Don't have many bombs left. Yeah, I could get to Polaroid Invincibility, I'm aware. I'm just gonna see how it goes without it. Unless I find a, another, um, another blood donation machine in my travels, or a demon beggar, more preferably, I guess. Two of clubs doubles my bombs, I need that. And let's go again. Nope. So we'll get one more chance at that most likely. Then we'll run out of bombs. Unfortunately. Okay. That room was pretty easy. It handled itself nicely. So thanks to this dude, most of the enemies were already dead. So it just killed them for me. Alright, let's go reroll. See what's up with that. About time for uh, something good. Spider bite, perhaps. Raw liver useful things. Special, two health up, full health, nothing else. That also would have negated my Polaroid invincibility, of course, so now would be a good time to go back and get it. Except that eh, I kind of want, like I said, to try without it. Dang it. Didn't count as hitting. Messed up my blast radius. Right, I 
wanted to hit the heart as much as I could there, but Monstro got in the way for a good portion of it. Bombs do do a bunch of damage, by the way. Yeah, I said that. That happened. 110. It's a good time. Alright, we are going to take this to the cathedral. Oh, I went right into that if I had gone up instead. But that was hard to tell. I couldn't read it until... I already got hit, basically. Shoot the fires just in case, because these things work out sometimes. We took all the items, let's go. I'm confident that I can just go straight left. I haven't found another trinket yet. This will be pretty silly. I should visit that secret room. It could have a fortune teller. But if this is how it works out, I'm not going to care too much annoying, but not a big deal. Not getting items from the chest? Who needs them? Check this. Okay. It's probably worth something. Give it a re-roll. I would appreciate it if you didn't do that. But... Who cares? Maybe I'll just become Guppy right away. Then have things to reroll as well. That's the wrong syringe. I hope you know that. But just in case you didn't, I thought I'd tell you. Oops, mispositioned myself a bit, I guess. <laughs> Good damage. Well played. Alright, let's go for this. Only one orbital, so this is going to be tricky. No invincibility. Again, tricky. Alright, so I can switch to the left side now, so that I don't get stuck in the wall, because the left side doesn't eat you like the right side does. Don't know why that is. But the right wall is also the only wall that Dr. Fetus bombs bounce off of. I have no bombs, that's inconvenient now, isn't it? So on the other walls, if you uh, use Dr. Fetus and shoot it into the wall, it just stays against the wall. Not the right wall, it bounces right off. Making it really hard to aim some things on that side. The right wall is really just cursed. So I think I can win this fight. If I stay where I am, then I'll be fine as far as beams of light are concerned. They can't hit the doors. The door areas, like just as you walk into them. Stupid angelic babies. Stupid angelic babies. If there's any reason that I can't handle this, it's them. We're getting bad luck with spawns. Not like horrendous luck with spawns, but bad. Definitely bad. Yep. And every time he spawns them such that I need to switch sides. Shoots a nice homing garage that I can't really do much about. I'm just going. Don't fail me now. You failed me now. Pretty hard. Yeah, this is not a problem at all. Don't you worry. Freaking aggressive pestilence, though. Uh, yeah, should be this way. Oh, that sucks.
Gotta get them both to the lower wall, and then we're fine. And now it's just a matter of time. Everything should stay okay this way. <sighs> Man, though. Okay. This room's pretty tricky, though. It's always unfortunate to see, but as long as you handle it properly, especially with shot speed, that's scary. And the slowing actually was trying to screw me over. Basically, everything in that room was just stacked against me badly. Right, this is another reason shot speed's bad, because this is charging enemies are just like the worst for getting knocked into bad places. Alright, this is fine. Don't do this to me. Oh, you're doing this to me. Wrong way. One, two, three, and one, two, three. So that's a possible location. I'll check it. Ooh, that's unfortunate. Triple Loki is a surprisingly annoying room. Don't. Thanks. Oops, that's my fault. Okay, once the first one dies, everything gets better. Except that I might be the first one to die. Which I would say is not what I want. Okay. Two of clubs, that'll get me two bombs. That's, uh, good. Also not the boss room, okay. But it puts me right next to the secret room that should put me next to the boss room from it. However, that doesn't matter very much at the moment. Because I have half a heart. I might even die in this room. Okay, this is only a little bit intense, don't worry. Oh, okay, they shot them right into me. That's how that goes sometimes. That was definitely due to the fact that I didn't want to go for Polaroid invincibility and um, didn't care enough to go for uh, ditching the left hand. But I thought I'd get away with it, which is the point why I did it. So, uh, you know, it's just an exercise in difficult situations, which is pretty much what this whole game is. What I'm like, that's what I'm trying to get out of the game, pretty much. But um, I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Thank you for watching. And I will see you next time.